Chelsea here. So today I'm going to be doing an old school type video. I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video because when I posted this bag on I think Snapchat I think of like maybe a couple months ago when I got it a lot of people were asking for a what's in my bag. So I'm finally getting around to doing one today. It's going to be kind of weird because I feel like this video is like so ancient like this tag. I don't even know who created this tag but it's so ancient but a lot of people always want to see this video plus people are just naturally nosy and they want to know what's in your bag so I'm going to be showing you today what's in my bag but before I show you what's in my bag I want to talk a little bit about the bag because a few people were asking about the bag when I got it and this was not an impulse buy this was a bag that I have been wanting for a while if you follow me on Pinterest then you have seen me like repin this bag a thousand times the big one the small one and like so many different colors but I saw this one in the store and I just had to have it and this is the Saint Laurent Sac de Joy I think that's how you say it. I'll have the name in the title so you guys can know exactly what to look for and I'll have it linked down below in the description box. But I think this is in the color warm beige if I'm not mistaken. It's coming up a little bit lighter on camera. It's actually a little bit darker in person and I absolutely love this color. It's almost like a beige caramel color which I really like and I did get the dark beige and gold so the words are right here and they're in gold as well as this little keychain. You can put the little keychain in this little thing but I just like to keep it out just because I think it looks pretty. You can also take it off. This does come with a key. I'm not sure the point of it, but the key is just somewhere inside my purse. This is just a really good bag. The leather is absolutely amazing. I like the sides of it as well. It has this envelope, like repeated looking style on the side, which I really like. It's really nice. It's just like a nice classy bag. And it just really caught my attention when I first saw it. Um, I also like that it has a strap. So you can wear it as a satchel if like your arm gets tired or something. I do want to get more colors in this bag. Like I do want to get it in black um, just because I feel like it's a really good classic bag and it holds a lot as well. Because I was deciding between this bag and the Givenchy um, bag, the one that everyone has. I can't remember the name of that one. Kendra has it in black and I think it's such a good bag. It actually has more room than this, but I wanted to get this bag first just because it was calling my name. So I think maybe for Christmas I'm going to get the Givenchy bag just because I think it's just a really good bag to have and it's classic. And I could probably pass some of these bags down to my daughter one day. So, yeah. I think that's all I wanted to say about the bag. Yeah, so now let's just move on to what's inside. Oh, the only thing I don't like about this purse is that it doesn't have a zipper. Which is kind of annoying so you can like see everything in it. I thought that was kind of stupid. But at the same time, it is kind of convenient. Like if I have to reach back and get something out of my purse if I'm at the drive-thru. It is kind of convenient just to reach in there and get what I need. But almost kind of not safe either. <laughs> But I still really like the purse. So okay, what's inside the bag? Right here hanging out is just a little puff ball. And these are my keys actually. I have my keys attached to this. And I leave this hanging out just because it's just easier to find my keys that way. That's the only reason I got this um, little puff ball. I used to have like a like a tan one and it looks like very like tribal looking. But it got really dirty and matted and I got that one off of um, eBay. But this one I got inside of Steve Madden. So this is from Steve Madden. And I just have my keys here. And of course I always have to have hand sanitizer. And this is in the scent Fall Lakeside Breeze. Of course I just have my phone. By the way a lot of people ask about this case. And I got it from Amazon. I've had this case for like a very long time now. I have like gold as well. Um, but it's kind of scratched. Um, I should probably get another one. Even though I'm thinking about getting the iPhone 7. So if any of you guys have the iPhone 7, let me know if it's worth it. Because I'm still thinking about it. I don't really know yet. But yeah, I have my phone. Of course, I have my wallet in here. This is just like a plain, like, cognac wallet that I got from TJ Maxx. It's just like a good, durable wallet. Even though I kind of want the Balenciaga wallet. I've been looking at some of them. I think they're really pretty. And then I have this really dirty Hello Kitty, like, pouch thing in here. I've had this for so, so long. But it hasn't like broken or anything so I don't see the point of throwing it away. And in here I just keep like business cards and things like that that people may give me like when we go to events and stuff. I just keep like business cards in here and things like that. So that's what this is for. And then y'all know I have to have wet ones because people are like really disgusting. I think studies show that at least like I think it's 80 to 90% of people do not wash their hands when they leave the bathroom. Which is absolutely disgusting. You're an adult. You know better than to not wash your hands after you use the bathroom. I have to have wet ones especially when we go to the grocery store and I wipe down the handle um the grocery cart handle yeah y'all know what I mean they have wipes at the grocery store but they're always further away from 
the buggy. I'm like, what's the point of me touching it before I can get to the wipes? Like, I already got germs on my hand. I think it's kind of pointless, so I'd rather go in my purse and get my own because by the time I get in the store, it's too late to grab one of their wipes. And I kind of don't think their wipes are antibacterial. I feel like they might be just some baby wipes or something. I feel like I just talk way too long about wipes, but y'all get it. Um, next, I just have a lotion here. Actually, I have two lotions. Um, the first one is this Kiehl's Creme de la Corpse. Um, lotion. I had the full size of this and it's a really good lotion, but I feel like the full size of this is like a little overpriced. I feel like my Nivea works just as good. So I just like to buy the smaller one to keep in my purse. So I have this. Um, it's a really good lotion. And then I have this Rose 31 lotion. I got this at a hotel. Um, the hotel we stayed at in um, Dallas had these and they smell really, really good. Um, we stayed at the Fairmont downtown Dallas and it was so, so nice. I love that hotel. But um, this does not work that well. Like, I put it on. And you know when you darker, you can really tell if you add shit. And I put it on and it was just like a no-go for me. So I might throw this away. I kind of don't see the point of keeping it because it's not that great of a lotion. Um, by the way, this bag has like two sides. So I'm still on this side. And then it has another side right here. So the middle part is a zipper. This is the only zipper that it has, which is in the middle that separates each side. So it's kind of similar to the Prada bag, if anyone has seen the Prada bags. Like, they don't have a zipper either, but they do have a zipper in the center, which uh, separates each side, which I do kind of like because I stay organized this way. So I do like that about this purse, that it's not like one big black hole. That's the only thing Kendra says she doesn't like about the Givenchy bag, is that it's like a big black hole. So I feel like all bags have their pros and cons. So this bag does help you stay organized. Um, so also on this side, I have this um bag which is my makeup bag slash fragrance bag so i have like different makeup products in here that i might need to take on the go with me and i also have like 500 um <laughs> lip products as well as uh sample perfumes so this might take a minute so yeah let's see what's in here okay so the first thing i have in here is this makeup forever hd powder just because i'm always getting oily and i have to powder you know the obvious same issue, oily problems, um, have my clean and clear oil blotting sheets, and I also have like a lot of lip balms and stuff in here, just because, you know, I don't want dry lips, of course. I think that's all the ones I have. Oh, last, I have another one. Okay, I think those are all the lip, pro well, like moisturizing lip products. Uh, cause I have like glosses in here. I'm going to show you in a minute. By the way, this is a Betsy Johnson like makeup bag. I got from TJ Maxx, by the way. It came in like a set and I have the big one that I use for my makeup brushes when I travel. Um, so I just have a Burt's Bees pomegranate, um, lip balm. And then I have a Bath and Body Works Mentha Lip Shine. Next I have a Neutrogena Lip Balm. This is another lip balm. This is from Jack Black and this is the Natural Mint and Shea Butter. Um, next, I have a Clinique Super Balm, and this is just considered a moisturizing gloss. And then the last lip balm that I have in here is from Kiehl's, and this is the Mint Lip Balm. They have different ones. They have a cranberry one, which actually smells like cherries to me, but it smells really good. And they have, I think, just like an original one, but I like the mint a lot. Okay, next in here, I have different lip products that I may need to take with me on the go. Because you never know when you might need to last minute put something like on your face. So these are all the lip products that I have. Well, like makeup lip products. So I have my two go-to lip pencils, which are MAC by Chestnut. This one is getting a little shorter, but I have a MAC by Chestnut. MAC by Chestnut. A Chestnut by MAC lip pencil in here. And then I have a ColourPop lip pencil. And this is, of course, grunge. Y'all know this is my go-to. And then I have a random Sephora lip gloss on here, which gives your lips like a really nice tint. So um, I really like this. Uh, what's the color? It's just called 16 Virginia. Oh my God, I thought they said vagina. And then I have a Kylie Lip Kit gloss in here, and this is in the color Like. And then I have three more Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses in the colors Saint Tropez, Caramel, and toffee okay and then lastly in here i just have a bunch of like um travel size perfumes and i also have like a little kabuki for my powder i'm gonna try to go through all of these if you care um the first one i have is this stella mccartney um i think this is called pop 
I do not remember what this is called. It has a pink top. Kendra knows the name of this. It's okay. It smells nice, but it's not like one of my favorites. Um, next, I have a Tory Burch um, perfume. Um, what's the name of this one? I can't remember the name of this one either, but it has the golden orange top. This one smells really, really good. Um, I, this is more of a spring scent, though. I don't really wear it too often during the fall and winter, um, but this is a really nice scent. Um, and then I have a Versace Burt Crystal, which is one of my Holy Grail perfumes. And I also have a Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black, which smells nice. It's kind of strong, though, but it's still a nice scent. Um, I got this as a point perk. Well, I think I got like most of these as point perks actually from Sephora, but this is Alteria Cologne and this is the orange, orange something. This smells like oranges. It smells like legit orange juice, but it smells nice. It's like really fruity. And then I have this Taylor Swift Wonderstruck, which I've had forever. This smells really good though. And then the last one that I have in here is one, a more recent like favorite of mine. I cannot wait to the VIB sale because I'm buying the full size of this. And this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. So this is their like new rose scent. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh. This is what me and Kendra had on when we were in Dallas. Everybody was asking like what we had on. We had this on. It smells amazing. And then I have a mascara in here. And this is the Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever Mascara. And that's everything in this little bag. So I have a Victoria's Secret bag here. And in here I just keep a little mini deodorant. Uh, I have tampons. I have panty liners. Another tampon. Uh, a clip. And then I have some always wipes. Oh, I have some bobby pins down here too. But I'm not going to take these out. Like bobby pins and then like a duck bill clip. Just because you never know. So that's like my like womanly slash hair bag, I guess. I have another Victoria's Secret bag, but this is my change purse. I think that's why my purse is probably so heavy because this is kind of heavy. So I keep all my change in here, like loose change. So that's what I have in here. Um, and then on the side, I have my two um, high key sunglasses by Desi Perkins. And I have the gold ones and the black ones. You guys saw these in our favorites, I think. Our random favorites yeah our random September favorites so really cute sunglasses I just like to try them on because some people you know want to see how they look on so yeah I have both of these in here and the reason I have both is because sometimes I don't know which one I want to wear or I just like to have more than one option and I'm crazy even though I do have like maybe seven other pair of sunglasses in my car Obviously, just because I like options and sometimes people get in uh, my car, like sometimes my mom, she doesn't have sunglasses when she gets in and then I'll have an extra pair for her, you know, or my cousins or something. Okay, now it's just like trash at the bottom, like movie tickets and stuff. Oh, and receipts. Oh, I need to file this. Yeah, this movie ticket was from The Magnificent Seven. I was kind of old, came out in September, which is a very good movie, by the way. I mean, I'm not surprised it is Denzel, but yeah, it was a really good movie. Okay, this is the thing that you keep for your luggage when you check a luggage from the airport. By the way, I don't understand why we have to stick our own stickers on nowadays. My mom used to work at the airport for like years and they used to do everything. I swear, like, good work is hard to find these days. I'm like, you can't put a sticker on a bag. Like, I'm not getting paid to do your job. And then now I'm just going to open like the little middle zipper. I just unzipped it so it's like right here. Here I have another movie ticket. Uh, this is from When the Bow Breaks. I thought it was kind of predictable. It was okay. Uh, this is a card to remind me of my next dentist appointment. Another movie ticket. Oh wait, this is a receipt. I have some gum. This is the Orbit. Wait, which one is this? Spearmint? I think this is a spearmint. And then I have some five gum, which is peppermint cobalt. This is my favorite gum. I love this gum. I have a nail file. I have a pen. Here's those uh, keys I was telling you about that goes to this, but I don't use it. This is just the authentication. I think that's the name of this thing that came with the purse, like with the um, barcode and things like that and like different things about the bag. It also has like this little swatch of the leather of the bag. I'm not sure why. I might have to read up on that. Um, another movie ticket from the same movie. I think that's Kendra's. I had everybody ticket for that movie. I got three of the same tickets because me, Kendra, my mom, and my cousin saw it together. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything that's in this bag. I emptied it out. 
so there's nothing else in here but yeah that completes this video i hope you guys enjoyed this old school what's in my bag style video once again i will have the uh, link to this bag linked down below if anyone's interested if you want to treat yourself to a birthday gift or christmas gift since christmas is around the corner it is a really good bag and i do not regret buying it it was a really good investment once again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all next time Bye.